My name is Andy Goldberg and I'm an orthopaedic consultant in London um, and I treat both adults and children. So most arthritis in the ankle happens after trauma, such as a broken ankle or severe sprains. And over time, the shock absorbing cartilage in the ankle wears away, leading to bone rubbing against bone that causes pain and stiffness and impacts quality of life as much as end stage heart failure. But like with any surgery, there are pros and cons of either treatment. The main difference is motion. In an ankle replacement, we remove the damaged joint surfaces and replace them with metal pieces and a strong, durable plastic liner that allows for smooth, pain-free movement, simulating the natural movement of the joint. So in an ankle replacement, you keep the ankle movement, and so you'd expect a more natural walking motion. But as it's mechanical, then over time, the implants can loosen and need redoing, perhaps after 10 or 15 years. On the other hand, with an ankle fusion, the damaged joint is fixed with screws or plates, and there's no motion. But the interesting part is that there are 30 joints in the foot, and although we're fusing one, the other 29 or so continue to move. And so performed correctly, an ankle fusion, you may not even be able to tell that it's been fused. It's a tough decision for patients to decide between an ankle fusion and ankle replacement. But they shouldn't fear because they're not alone. And the good news is that the patient's quality of life improves significantly with both these treatments. Both can help reduce pain, swelling and inflammation. 